Hey guys, it's Jessie Shaw here, back with another vid. But you can't even see me because it's wash day and my hair's looking a bit mad. But anyways, today we are doing a bit of a Photoshop tutorial. I recently did a shoot with an artist called Thelonious Rager. This is basically for his single in Doda, and it was all about a tether character that was basically his guardian angel and we represented her in these images and she was wearing wings and the whole concept was very beautiful and it was starred by my friend Efe. But basically, we love the images, love, love, love the images, but we thought it was important that we got rid of the straps from the wings and that the wings looked really realistic and that she was a very convincing angel. And so I had to quickly figure this out in Photoshop um, as far as removing elements in terms of clothing and jewelry and so on. And I discovered a technique, which I'd like to show you guys. So first things first, I'm gonna duplicate my image and then I'm gonna click onto the healing brush tool, which is what we'll be using today. And how it works is you basically sample an area that you'd like to more or less copy and then you more or less paste it onto the area you're trying to cover. And to do this, you click Alt, 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 whatever, A-L-T, and you click the area you're trying to copy, and then you can just like brush onto the place you're trying to replace. To begin with, I'm basically using the replace option, the replace mode, because I'm directly replacing one thing with another. So yeah, you're out clicking, out clicking, out clicking, replacing, replacing, and I'm also getting rid of this shadow that we have here because if I was to try and complete it and have it go all the way up her back, it would probably be very zigzaggy and shaky because I do not have a steady hand at all. So we're gonna cover that up real quick. So I know what you're probably thinking. What in the patchy hell is this? What is going on here? She can't even blend properly, like no. It's all good, I'm about to go on to the normal mode because this is gonna help me blend the textures and the colors seamlessly. Well, I hope so. So once again, we're out clicking, we're finding a reference color and texture and we're replacing an element that doesn't quite fit. And you wanna sample from a place that isn't too far from what you're trying to change, just so it's more seamless and it's a kind of gradual, smooth finish. I don't know if it's just me, but I love, love, love looking at the before and after. Like sometimes almost immediately after making a little change. It's kind of weird. So I'm using the same technique to basically lift the feathers up a bit. Let's say feathers, sorry, South London. Feathers up a bit to um, just make sure it's more seamless and as though she always had feathers in that area. Feathers. So this area right here, it gave me trouble. Let me tell you that. Basically, when you're working with the healing brush and you're trying to replace edges, sometimes it can be easy to have a result where it looks like it's, it's been drawn on basically. So I had to keep on blending the sky, her shoulders and trying to create like a realistic line that wasn't too forced and also that wasn't too soft. So yeah, heading back to normal mode and I'm blending everything in really nicely and I wish I could blend my makeup as well as this, but no, that is not the case. I forgot to mention actually, so you can actually change the size of your brush if you feel like you're being very messy and it's not quite working out and you want to be more accurate. So do feel free to change the size of your brush depending on what you're replacing. So I'm moving on to the other side now and I am gonna begin with the replace mode and out clicking until I get rid of 
majority of the strap and then I'm going to go in with the normal mode and blend everything in nicely. it from me i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it and if you have any tips please let me know and i'll try to use it next time but i think this method was quite okay probably is already a thing that people do but i don't know i just kind of discovered it as i was messing around and trying to figure out what to do but yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next week and in the meantime make sure you like comment and subscribe and make sure you follow me on instagram as well for some more of my work cool peace